Hey Plenty people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to do our first ever repot with me. I'm really excited today because we have some really good things that we have to repot. Sassy the cat, everybody. Um, I am, I have a really long Hoya carry eye that I have to repot because she took a tumble outside and she broke her terracotta pot, so therefore I have to repot her. And I also have my Squamiferum that I need to repot too because it is in its root ball still. And then I am going to be trying something with my, this is a philodendron mame. Uh, but yeah, I think you guys have seen this in the background of my videos and I actually really wanna try using one of the big long terracotta pots for this guy because he is a, a creeper. So he uh, creeps along the, um, creeps along the floor and that's how he grows. And it's really funny because I initially bought a, um, my first ever, uh, what do you call it? One of my first ever moss poles for this guy before I did more research in its growing habits. And it is not a climber, it is a creeper. So we're going to be repotting that today. And I got this idea from Caitlin from Plant Life in the Tropics. Thank you so much, Caitlin, because she did this with her Gloriosum before she repotted it and um, put it in like a... Trying to find a flattering angle to do this is quite difficult, um, but we're gonna make do with what we got. I have a ton of dirt and a large uh, pot because I didn't want to bring in my tote from outside because it's dirty and didn't feel like doing that. Um, but let's go ahead and repot this carry eye. Look at the growth. Look at all those aerial roots. And it actually has a peduncle right there and right here. And then another one right there. But it, it won't flower for me yet. So I'm waiting for that. I'm sure that with the tumble that he took he, the other day, yesterday, I'm sure he'll take even longer to flower because he's probably going to be fussy. Um, so I'm going to be putting him in this terracotta pot. It's one of the, it's a little shallow, but I think that this will work just fine for him. And I feel like people have um, funny views about using terracotta pots sometimes with Hoyas, but I'm pretty sure that I learned from Betsy Begonia that if you just take the pot, um, and the plant in the pot, obviously, if you just take that and just like let it soak in water for a little while i'm pretty sure that that it will loosen up the roots because everybody's worried that um uh that the roots will um attach itself to the terracotta because it's porous and uh it just seems like the right thing to do to the for the roots but i'm pretty sure that if you just al allow uh the pot and the soil and the roots to just soak up all, all that water i think it'll just loosen right up and you don't have to be afraid of terracotta anymore. This boy is so top heavy. That's another reason why I have to have him in terracotta anyway is because he's so heavy I need a pot to kind of like balance him out. So I hope you guys are enjoying um, all the videos for this month. Um, all the filming and pre-filming is going great so far. I think I'm, you know, uh, pretty on track for um, making sure that I get a video up every single day for the month of July. And yeah, it, I'm st I still have um, a lot of days left to go. So if you guys do have any video requests, then you can always leave that down below. And I think that we have this guy good and he's all potted up just give him a little tap 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 a so that uh yeah so that we can make sure that all the dirt fills in all the air pockets that is hoya carry I, I should put this guy on a trellis i really should but i don't really like trellis i think there's um, i don't know i just don't like trellis <laughs> now it's time for the squamiferum i'm also going to be putting him in a pot a terracotta pot that is and I'm not really going to do a whole lot with um, the root ball. I am a big advocate for 
um, not really disturbing the roots. I used to disturb the roots and just like, you know, zhuzh all the dirt off, as much of the dirt off the roots as I can, but I just feel like, I don't feel like the plants uh, like that. I don't, I think that they, um, they bounce back a lot quicker from like shipping and, um, and whatnot and adjusting to your climate if you just allow them um, to stay in their root ball and then you just put them in a pot that has uh, that's just a little bit wider so that you can fill in the pot around the edges with soil and just let it you know keep growing without the roots being disturbed as much as possible I think that's the best way to get um, growth sooner rather than later gosh this tape is really difficult to get off well it looks like i'm going to be disturbing the roots anyway because i think it was in um cocoa core and none of it attached to the roots so i guess i'm just gonna pretend that uh so i guess i'm just gonna put it in my soil anyway Oh, those are really some good, nice, healthy roots. I'm really, really excited about this plant. I really, I really want to see good things about, good things happen to it. Um, I do have uh, another squamiferum that I'm gonna be getting. I know. I know. I don't know what it is. I feel like whenever I started getting into plants, I was all about Hoya. Hoya, Hoya, Hoya. Like, nonstop. That's all I could think about there for a little while. And I mean, I liked philodendrons. I liked aeroids. Um, but I was really more so all about the Hoya. Oh, the Hoya head, Hoya life. I mean, my name, my channel name, and my Instagram name is Heather Hoyas for crying out loud. Um, but I don't know. I just like really caught the aeroid bug. Like I really am into philodendron and anthurium uh, at the moment. Don't get me wrong, I still love my Hoya, but it's it's kind of weird because I'm not really seeking Hoya at the moment, um, which I think is okay. I think, uh, I think it's normal to go through phases of being interested in one thing and um, being interested in, in another thing. I think it, I think that's all part of life and growing in general. Maggie. It's not really holding up the way that I want him to, so I'm gonna pack a little bit more dirt, soil, excuse me, on one side. See if I can get him to stand up nice for me. All right, there we go. Look at him, look at little Squammy. He's so pretty. I love this plant. I I think I've always kind of been interested in the squamiferum just because of the, the really furry, hairy petioles. I just think that they're really interesting. I just never, I don't know, I never could find them around me. And then I finally got this guy and I just think he's so cool and that's why I'm getting another one because I'm a crazy plant lady. But that's two down. Now for the big boy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. Now, it's kind of scary to repot my um, my philodendron Monet because he is doing so well. I mean, he put out, he already had a new leaf that was going to be put out whenever the seller sent it to me. And he completely unraveled. Oh my God. He completely unraveled this leaf in my care. This was the original leaf. I mean, it's so huge. This one's so huge in comparison. And then there's another, there's another leaf coming out right there. And I really, I hate to disturb it, but kind of want to disturb it too. I really also want to see how the roots are doing as well. And there's only really one way to do that. And that is repotting. So we're going to just go ahead and dump her out. I'm going to be reusing the soil because First of all, this is a really big pot. And second of all, uh, there wasn't anything wrong with this soil. This was my soil that I mixed anyway. Um, so there, and I 
haven't seen any problem with any sort of bugs or anything like that. So I think it's safe to go ahead and just reuse it. Uh, all right. Oh! So it does look like we have a lot of good root growth already. I'm gonna try and shake off some of the dirt and then show you guys. I'm not gonna disturb disturb, but I'm just gonna give it a good little shake so that whenever I show you it doesn't get all over the floor because I am repotting on carpet like a crazy person. So look at those roots. <sighs> nothing makes, okay, I was gonna say nothing makes a plant mama more happy than that, but I'm pretty sure growth New, new leaves, new foliage probably makes the plant mama happy, but I think just new growth in general will make me happy. Um, so he likes to climb. It looks like his um, thing is going this way. His little stump is going this way. So I think I'm gonna pot him going this way so that way he can climb all the way down. And all right, good thing I brought a lot of soil. feel like not a whole lot has been going on, but I think that's just like the quarantine mindset in general. Um, I'm so tired of wearing masks and I know it's for my own good and for everybody else's own good, but I'm just so tired of masks. I have to wear them all day because I work for the, I work in the public and so that's like that's at least eight hours, five days a week that I have to wear a mask. And uh, yeah, I just don't, just don't love it. But obviously there could be worse things. I'm just complaining. Uh, this is gonna take, I think this might take more dirt, more soil than I have, unfortunately. Just to fill up this, this other end. I want to say congratulations to Lulu's Leaves for um, getting monetized. That's so exciting. I'm so happy for her channel. Um, her channel has been just absolutely killing it. You're slaying the game, Lucia. Oh my goodness. This is a big old pot. So whenever I water this, I'm probably just going to be focusing more of the watering on this side so that way this side just doesn't doesn't stay too moist and we don't really want to promote root rot here because I would I would be very upset if my philodendron mame got root rot so just no that's not gonna happen under my watch if I can do anything about it has anybody been reading the newest um, Hunger Game book I just I got it what was it? I got it like the first day it released and it looks like it's being told from the uh, the viewpoint of snow, which could be really interesting. I started to sit down and read it probably like the day, maybe a week or so after I got it. And I just, I don't know, I haven't got sucked into it yet. Obviously I need to read at least a chapter or so to um, get fully absorbed, but leave a comment down below if you've read it how you, what your thoughts and feelings are about it and if I should just suck it up and just wade through it. Look at this. Isn't it obnoxious? <laughs> this pot is so obnoxious. Um, I think that this is a really, really good idea because look at all this room it has to grow and produce more foliage for me. I think I think this is a really cool idea. Thank you so much, Caitlin, for repotting your Gloriosum in this so that I could have the idea to repot my mame in it. Um, maybe at some point I'll repot this, uh, this kitty plant because obviously she's outgrowing her pot. Go on with your bad self. Thanks you guys for joining me in my first repot with me. Um, I definitely, want to have more to talk about next time uh, I do a repot because I don't know I've never repotted before um, on camera and I feel like whenever you repot you you kind of have to have um, stories kind of ready to tell if that makes any sense you kind of already have your 
first of all, you're talking to yourself. So you have to have like updates or things that are going on um, to keep, you know, to keep it flowing, if you know what I'm saying. Um, hopefully next time I'll have a little bit more, a little bit more um, of an update, a little bit more to talk about. But that's it for today's video. If you like the content, don't forget to hit that like button down below. If you really like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!